In this video, I am going to discuss, I am going to explain hiring problem using uh, both the deterministic approach and um, the randomized approach. The problem uh, definition of a hiring problem is imagine that you are running an employment agency and you are asked to uh, choose a job role, <coughs> choose a candidate for uh, uh, the position of uh, office assistant. You have n number of candidates for a position and you want to hire the best candidate. N number of candidates are given to you and you want to hire the best candidate. So now the candidates would be interviewed, the candidates are interviewed one by one in a fixed order and after each interview you must decide immediately whether to hire that candidate or not. Once the candidate is rejected, he cannot be rec recalled. So the number of candidates here given is again, we are going to interview one candidate per day and decide whether to hire the person or not. So the cost of interviewing the candidate, so here will be interviewing the candidate as soon as we'll be hiring the candidate both operations we are doing right so anyhow we'll be interviewing all the candidates right so there is a cost for interviewing the candidates as well as there is a cost for hiring the candidate as well but when it comes to cost for interviewing the candidate you have to interview all the n number of candidates when it comes to hiring you will not hire all the candidate you will be hiring only uh, some m number of candidates only will be hiring right so the cost of hiring and cost of interviewing is going to be different so the now you have n number of candidates interview one candidate per day and decide whether to hire the candidate or not hire the person or not the cost of interviewing the candidate here is going to be ci if the candidate is better than the current assistant so you are going to fix one current dummy candidate as the best candidate every time when you interview the candidate you are going to compare the performance of the current candidate with the current best so if the current candidate is performing better than the current best he would be replaced with the current best right so if the candidate is performing better than the current candidate, current assistant, you must fire the assistant and hire the candidate. So the cost of hiring is going to be CH. So now you will be interviewing all the candidate but you will not interview, you will not hire all the candidates, right? So the cost of hiring and interviewing is going to be different. N number of candidates are going to interview and only M number of candidates we are going to hire. Now this problem, the goal is what? Estimating the cost of the strategy is what the goal. So this problem now can be solved using either the deterministic approach and also using randomized approach also this can be solved. Let's discuss how this problem can be solved using the deterministic approach, using the normal approach. The first step is in the deterministic approach, we, we, you, we, you could adopt the following strategy, one is hiring the best so far. During the interviews, you compare each candidate to the best candidate seen so far and update. If the current candidate is performing better than the best candidate seen so far, you hire this candidate and update your best candidate. And this is the pseudocode here for deterministic algorithm, you are going to uh, choose uh, some dummy candidate as a best candidate, current best candidate, that is going to be the dummy candidate. Um, now, if there are n number of candidates have uh, applied for the job role, you are going to interview all the candidates one by one right from the first candidate. Now, the first candidate is when your i equals to 1, you are going to call the first candidate and first candidate will be interviewed. And if the candidate i, the candidate number 1 is performing better than the current best is what 0, right? If 1 is performing better than 0, in the place of best, 1 will be replaced. So, the cost of hiring now is 1 and the, you are going to choose uh, the current candidate as a best candidate and you are going to hire the so and so candidate, the candidate number 1, right? So now the best would be 1, again the second candidate would come, increment the i value, i value will be 2. Now the second candidate would enter, you are going to interview candidate number 2, if candidate number 2 is performing better than the current best candidate who is 1. If he is performing best, you are supposed to update the current best candidate and also you are going to hire the candidate. So only if he is performing better, you are going to hire the candidate. So you are, join, you are going to keep on updating the best here. If he is performing better, the best would be updated and also the candidate would be hired. So this is how the process would work. Now what is going to be the time complexity when while this is the deterministic using deterministic algorithm, we have hired the candidate now. So what is going to be the best case and worst case for this. The best case is 
uh, if the candidate is hired only once that is going to be the best case and the worst case is if all the candidates are hired when all the candidates would be hired here when the candidates are arranged in the ascending order when the candidates um, scores are arranged in the ascending order which means the least performer is coming first for example uh, um, candidate number one candidate number two candidate number three and candidate number four imagine that it has been arranged in a ranking order based on their performances or based on their profile if it is arranged because deterministic follows the fixed order right some the candidates would be ordered in some fixed order you will be calling the candidates one by one in particular order you will be calling them one by one and you will be interviewing them right so now when there is an like if the order is in the ascending order based on their rank for example c1 is the least performer c2 is somehow better than uh, c2 is somehow better than c1 c3 is somehow better than c2 and c4 is better than c3 which means the c4 is better than all these c3 right so if they are arranged in the um, based on their rankings if you want to arrange them you know he is going to be the number one least performer uh, uh, least performer and C2 is going to obviously going to perform better than C1. So, C2 will be hired after interviewing C2 and then again C3 is better than sorry C3 is better candidate 3 is better than candidate 2. If so, current best candidate would be C2 after interviewing the candidate 3, the candidate 3 would be hired and then candidate 4 will be interviewed. Since C4 is better than all these 3, he would be replacing this C3 and C4 would be hired. So, in this scenario, all the candidates we are hiring which means the worst case time complexity is going to be all the n number of candidates we are going to interview and n number of candidates we are going to hire. So, here the hiring cost is high. So, the assumption here is the candidate for the uh, office assistant job are numbered 1 through n create a dummy candidate number 0 who is less qualified than each of the other candidates after interviewing candidate at after interviewing candidate i determine if candidate i is the best candidate you have seen so far so to estimate the cost since all candidates must be interviewed the interview cost is going unavoidable only the interview cost cannot be reduced but hiring cost can be reduced right so if m are hired the hiring cost is much if all the candidates are hired so this cost varies with the input so we can focus on the hiring cost because um, the interview cost cannot be hired why because we are supposed to interview all the candidates so hiring cost can be reduced so the worst case scenarios if they are arranged in the order based on their rankings or based on their you know the weightage of the profile it is going to be the worst case why because each time uh, each and every candidate would be hired so the hiring cost is also going to be n here so to avoid the cost of this hiring we can prefer the randomized approach with the help of the randomized approach with the help of the randomized algorithm somehow we can reduce the hiring cost of the candidate but we cannot reduce the interview uh, cost by as i discussed um, since we have we must interview all the candidates so with the help of the randomized algorithms the hiring cost alone can be reduced so this algorithm randomly permutates the list instead of following the fixed order while calling the uh, candidates one by one for the interview you can randomly permutates the list the candidate list to generate the order in which candidates are interviewed so in the pseudo code there is one change only instead of following the candidate instead of calling out the candidates for an interview one by one we have to randomly permutate the name list permutate the order of the candidates and then you have to call so you include one line here in this place we are going to randomly permutate the list or randomly shuffle the candidates that is it you now the hiring cost would be definitely reduced introduce this shuffle the candidates or shuffle use shuffle function to shuffle the candidates now the hiring cost would be reduced and now after applying the randomized approach the time complexity is going to be this big o of cost of hiring ch into ln n so this lemma 
Lemma assumed that if the candidates are presented in random order, the higher assistant method has a recruiting cost of big O of CH which is the hiring cost ln N. So, previously the cost of hiring was big O of M into CH where M was the number of candidates hired. This is biased on the lemma big O of now it is going to be ln N. This is the time complexity the, the, for uh, the, the randomized algorithm in a hiring problem. So, this is how the randomized algorithm works here.